Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with breaking news on two fronts tonight. As we come on the air, two cases of that highly contagious South African variant of coronavirus have now been found in the U.S. US. The first evidence that another dangerous mutation may already be spreading nationwide and could soon lead to a surge of new infections and deaths. The CDC says it discovered the cases in South Carolina in two people who haven't traveled and haven't interacted with each other. So scientists are now worried they were infected by others in their community who may be carrying the new variant and not even know it. There's also breaking news out of Georgia, where at least six people are dead and others in critical condition tonight after a refrigeration line broke, leaking liquid nitrogen into a food packing plant there. More than 100 workers were forced to flee the plant as it filled with what victims describe as a chemical fog, choking off oxygen and burning their skin, all of it in an area already hard hit by coronavirus. So we've got a lot of new reporting to get to tonight, including our interview with the new White House chief of staff. And our team of correspondents is standing by with all the news. CBS's Jesse Mitchell is going to lead off our coverage from the scene of that deadly accident in Gainesville, Georgia. Good evening, Jesse. Nora, the deadly chemical leak at this plant sent shockwaves through the community, locking down a nearby school and highway as workers here ran for their lives. Chaos broke out shortly after 10 a.m. at this Gainesville poultry plant. We got an active nitrogen leak, got multiple DOAs. Officials say the liquid nitrogen leak killed six people and sent 11 others to the hospital. Outside, shaken family members were looking for loved ones. I was just praying he's okay. It's just stressful to not know. And then he won't answer his phone. Among those taken to the hospital, several firefighters responding to the scene. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the deadly leak. What does happen from here in the investigation? Well, it'll be, there's a lot of steps to it right now, of course. It'll be a lengthy process. It's not something that's quick. It may take a while, especially with this type of uh, facility. Gainesville is home to the nation's largest chicken processing plants, which often rely on liquid nitrogen for refrigeration. Just goes to show you how, how quick the blink of an eye it can change. Life can change dramatically. I just pray for the folks. Eight people remain in the hospital tonight, including one firefighter. The sheriff is now working to notify the families of those victims. Nora. All right, thank you.